George, first of all, then I just wanted to uh, touch on two weeks ago and that performance out in La Rochelle. Obviously disappointed to, to come away with the defeat, but what a performance and one to be proud of. Yeah, you know, the boys were, were heroic over there. They threw it all in and, um, you know, gave it everything they had. And, and unfortunately, you know, right at the death of the game, uh, La Rochelle got over the line and just overpowered us a bit. And um, yeah, tough to swallow at the time, but I think, uh, you know, I think the boys, they couldn't have done any more than they did. They fought unbelievably hard and, um, you know, can hold our heads up high that, you know, we, uh, we gave that everything possible. And how much confidence does that give the boys, that the fact that you can't take the European champions all the way? Yeah, I don't think there's any lacking in confidence of, of what we can do and, and what we're about. I think, you know, we acknowledge we've had some poor performances where we haven't quite executed our plan. Um, but I think, yeah, it was, it was good. We certainly, the boys all bought into, you know, what the objective is when we went to La Rochelle. And I think, you know, there's some good um, belief around if we do what we plan to do, then we're a good team. Um, you know, and that's, that's a challenge and it'll be a massive challenge against Bath because obviously they'll be coming to, um, to make sure we can't. And what's the mood like being in camp since? It seems pretty positive uh, and everyone seems pretty happy and, and ready to push on now for the tail end of the season. Yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty good group here, to be honest, for not letting wins or losses dictate too much how we feel. There's obviously um, emotion either way for, for 24, 48 hours, but I think we're pretty pragmatic as to, you know, when we're poor, how can we be better? And, you know, on a good day, how can we still be better? So I, I think the group's in a pretty good spot. You know, they, they respond well to the feedback and, and they work hard to try and, like I say, get better. So, um, yeah, look, I, you know, we've got we've got three more games. We know that and we know we've got to work really hard for the rest of the season. Yeah, and obviously Derby week this week, I, I guess coming off a, a win, lose or draw, the, all the comfort, all the uh, focus just turns to Derby week and that doesn't take much getting up for, does it? No, no, well, I, I've been here long enough now to, to understand the, the Gloucester Bath rivalry and it's uh, it's brilliant, you know, it's a a long-standing rivalry between two clubs who are down the road from each other and, and the passion you know is unbelievable it's, it's brilliant to, to play at King's Home and, and when we've gone to the wreck as well and our traveling support you know it means a lot to the supporters means a lot to the players and um, you know everyone's everyone will be fully committed and it looks like it's going to be a sellout here at King's Home as well so how excited are you for that yeah it's brilliant you know it's um, we love playing here you know we love our supporters it was I mean, La Rochelle was brilliant again. You know, I'm not sure what the numbers were, but they're loud and proud and, and it was great. And, you know, there's nothing like a sold out King's home to, to get the hairs on the back of your neck standing up. And, you know, it's um, again, it's, it's going to be really exciting. And obviously, we'll touch on last season, the 64-0 win at home against Bath. Obviously, they were going through a tricky period, but it'd be nice to have another another good performance like that, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, look, that you know that was a, a special day, but they're a completely different team now. You know, they're a very well organised team, very physical team, um, and you can see how they're building nicely. So, um, I, I don't think last last year's game has any relevance on this one. If I'm honest, I think this is going to be an extremely tough game. Um, both teams, you know, probably haven't had the exact seasons they wanted. Um, but yeah, as I say, they're, they're definitely a different outfit this year than they were last year. Yeah, I guess more so feelings like after that game, they stick in the memory, don't they? And they're the ones as a rugby player you want to play for. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, you don't you don't see many games like that. And I think obviously, you know, there'd be some Bath players hurting off the back of that, definitely. And um, I think the thing is with that game, we, we appreciated for that for what it was. And we haven't ever really talked about it again, you know, because there wasn't... Um, it, like I say, that's, that was a one-off for Bath, so it was what it was at the time. But um, with regards to now, this, this is going to be a fierce battle on Friday night, and, and we're aware of that. And back-to-back -back King's home fixtures for the first time in, in I'm not sure how long. That, that'll be nice as well. Yeah, it will, yeah. It's, it's really nice to, to get, a, you know, we've had a, a bizarre second half to the season with disjointed and week on, week off, and you sort of lose track of where you've been and who you've played, because it's, uh, you know, we've had so many down weeks in this second half. Um, but like I say, it's, it's exciting. Friday night at King's Home, you know, I don't think there's anywhere better to play. And just two more to touch on before we finish. Two re-signings since we last spoke, Seb Atkinson and Jake Morris. Just a word on those two players. Yeah, look, the, again, the young lads are brilliant. You know, they work really, really hard. Seb obviously was a, an unplanned for um, signing, but what a brilliant signing. What, what a hard-working young man he is. You know, he represents the club unbelievably well on and off the field. And, and Jake is obviously homegrown and got massive history with the club, with his dad. And I think, um, you know, it's really, really exciting. He's had a, a good bit of action this year. He's been brilliant, the relationship with Hartbury because he's got lots of game time over there as well and you know we look forward to um, there's going to be big opportunities for those lads at the start of next year with it being a World Cup year.